What's up everybody? My name is Exo and welcome to Beast Motor Bus Gaming. Today we're going to be taking a look at Mr. Prepper Prologue. It's an early access title. The prologue is like a demo and it's currently free on Steam. I'll have a link in the description. I watched a streamer play this for maybe 10-15 minutes. It looked pretty neat so I decided to give it a shot. I have not played this at all. So if you're looking to learn how to play the game, Maybe a good option, maybe not. I'm going to be going through it and looking at everything for the first time myself. So, we'll see how it is. Start a new game here. Mr. Prepper 1, we'll go ahead and name this Exo. Yeah, we probably should play the tutorial. Ever since the plague and the change of the government, this town has been unbearable. Lifeless. Filled only with boredom propaganda and control. I've tried to escape and I've failed this time. But I'll find a way. They call me Mr. Prepper. So I'm some sort of prepper that apparently had trouble with the law of some kind. Boy, that guy flew around that corner. Slow the f down, buddy. The neighborhood. So I attempted escape. They've, they've taken my vehicle. This is standard procedure, this guy says. Obviously, I'm also prohibited from buying or registering a new vehicle. Okay. And they hope that I don't leave. <laughs> Muricaville. America! Fuck yeah! Freedom is the only way, yeah! Play lying through my teeth. I'm on probation. Okay, great. Uh. What does that mean? They're gonna come regularly inspect me? Hmm. Another hmm. standard procedure. Man, this place must suck to live in. Uh. Hashtag bless. Apparently I'm tired from my escape attempt. That makes sense. That makes sense. And okay, well, uh, I don't know where the tech is or what year this is supposed to be set in. Those cars look from the early to mid 2000s. Uh, this computer, eh, I guess kind of out. It's a little old for, you know, mid 2000s, but hmm. Something to eat. All right, run down here and we'll eat a can of soup. So my preparedness is food and water. And then I know it's some other things based on that video I watched um, of this game from from another streamer. So I'm curious hmm. to see, check my escape plan. Hmm. Hmm. Survive and escape. Okay, helpful, but helpful. It's not much of a plan. Those are, those are goals, those are not plans. I don't think this guy knows what a plan means, but that's fine. We'll figure it out. So this is where the bunker building comes in. It reminds me of XCOM and other games similar to that. I know Fallout Shelter was a pretty popular mobile game. Uh, tower. There's a tower simulator uh, or like a tower management game. I forget what it's called now. I've got it on Switch and on PC. Hmm. It's pretty fun. Uh, it gets a little repetitive eventually, but it, it's still pretty fun. I need to craft a ladder. Okay, so now I've got this workbench. Hmm. What can I do with it? I need to keep it hidden from the agency. I need metal and wood. Hmm. Oh, I need to buy eight units of metal. Okay, so it's gonna make me buy eight metal. Go into the forest and find some wood. Okay, let's give it a shot. Hey. I'll just grab some ah. wood, I guess. And maybe some berries. Okay, well, you know. Is there any other wood here? Let's go ahead and grab these last berries and then this wood here. Uh, grab that one. You know what? We're already here. Let's go get a couple more. Let's get that last log at least. All right. And then let's head back home. Need to get these logs disassembled. So we'll go over here. Disassemble the last one while we're already out here. And then let's go get our metal out of the mailbox. Go ahead and craft that upgrade. There we go. Lamps, any glass, just simple some glass at the workbench. All right, so we'll grab that, grab that. <gasps> grab a couple of these. I wish there were keyboard shortcuts to do the crafting and stuff. The UI is, I wouldn't call it clutter, <laughs> but it's just a little, you know, a little more cluttered than I'd like, or a little, I guess, more broken out and not, not really super structured. So that's okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay, now it's time to go to sleep. Alright, he needs to get ready for the inspection real quick. Shit, I should have grabbed that first. And I guess I have until that's all red. Then we're going to have him cover this. Hmm. 
I've got to think he's not going to check my inventory, so I'm not super worried about it. And then after this is done, I'll place both of those things downstairs, hmm. and then we can start getting all this done. Can't move while he's doing the inspection either. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, cool. So his next visit will be 6 1. Grow some plants in the bunker. That's my next goal for survival. Okay, we can do that. That's not too bad. Time to kick <laughs> off this underground plantation. Yeah, I know the agent wouldn't be happy to see any of this shit. So now, what we need to do, go ahead and make an area to farm in. And I don't know what the optimum layout is going to be. So we can go ahead and just... No, I kind of wish we could... Yeah, let's just do it right here. We'll make this an access area, and then maybe we'll make this... Beside that, the farm. Because I feel like this is going to need to be like a, an access tunnel or something like that. Read this letter. Do you like flowers, herbs, and plants in general? Trouble making friends? Come to the forest during the day? Okay, the herbalist is in the forest, so that's that's cool, I guess. Okay, we can clear this one out too, even though we can't reach that technically right now. And then we'll make a ladder to go down, and this will be, yeah, this will just be our little access area. I wonder what he's doing with all that dirt. I mean, that's just crazy, you know? A lot of dirt. So he cannot get in there, so let's... We need three metal. Let's come inside here, grab a couple of these things, and see if we can't make some metal so we don't have to spend the money. Oh, oh, okay. Well, his preparedness is going down really quickly there, so let's go for a nap real quick. He's hungry again. But it doesn't seem like the hunger meter moves very quickly. That's actually kind of good. Alright, we'll eat that. Boom. There we go. Awesome. So now we've got four wall lamps. We can put one. Now I know the farms need a lot of light. It's all that. At least know that much. So we'll put three in here. Then we'll put one in that other room just so we can see a little bit. Okay, so now we need to find the rest of our seeds. I don't know where those would be. You know what? Let's do this. Let's go back into the forest. Forest level 1-3. Oh, there we go. Talk to this person. That must be the herbalist. Oh, fudge. Oh, she's definitely the herbalist. It's herbalist Jenny. And she needs my help. She's got a cabin. She needs me to kill a wolf? Yeah. I, I can't do that right now. Okay, so this will open up new trading. Everything what the wilderness around? Okay, probably a typo. Everything that the wilderness around Murricaville has to offer. Free range and ethically shot to death animals. Use this. Oh, cool. So, no matter how deep we go in, it looks like as long as there's a sign, we can go directly back home. All right, we need more seeds. And I don't have more seeds. Supermarket has seeds, they have carrot seeds, beet seeds. Alright, so we'll buy... You know what, let's buy a beet seed, because it looks like they're more expensive, we have the money. Probably means it's more food. So, we've got two hours, we need to come over here and container with soil, we need to craft five of those. Okay, so it's, it pretty much says in the prologue that it's going to be really hard to sustain food. 
but in the full version of the game it will be easier. So, okay, that's fine. Let's go upstairs, cover this, and go to sleep just in case the inspection's tomorrow, because I think it was two days. Oh, shit, I can cover from the bottom. Mm. So let's uncover, go upstairs. That's cool, though. Good to know. And let's cover it. Huh. Let's go to sleep. Oh, these are growing. That's good. This one, not so much. Well, let's go ahead and go down here. We're going to get a couple more of these glasses out. Grab that guy. Then we're going to come over here and craft. And we are going to disassemble this stuff and then make a couple more wall lamps. Make two more wall lamps. Probably adjust some of these. That way we can get more lighting in that room. This one's just going to be kind of our little one that kind of gets ignored more. Okay, we'll just put the... Oh, well, that's not good. Go ahead and power that off. Power that off. Maybe those other ones will come back on. Yep. Cool. Don't know what the plan is. One inspiration. I don't know what an inspiration is. Talk to the postman a little bit. Rocket photo. That would be my inspiration. Alright, let's head back down here. Read this now. And then we can drop our inspiration in. And of course, that's the most reasonable thing. Is to make a rocket. That doesn't really look too bad. Uh, let's see here. 50 wood... We got 15. Six metal. Let's go see what else we can craft first. Because I feel like we can... I feel like we can just put some stuff aside for that or work towards grinding that. Level 2 of the workbench will be available in the full version. Okay, so there's nothing to upgrade there. Baseball bat and a simple trap. I'm going to make a baseball bat. So I think what I want to do is I'm going to grab both of these lights... I'm going to try to place one kind of in the middle. I guess I really don't even need one there because that has a light. So I'm going to go down here. What I want to do is I want to place this shelf in this box. And then what I want to do is I want to place one light in there. Yeah, and I can place a light up here. Maybe. Hmm. Ah, yeah. I guess I can place it right there. Nice to have a little light in the room. And then I don't think I'm going to use this last light right now, because I really don't need it. But what I am going to do, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to start tossing some of our stuff in there that we really don't need. The Minutemen's letter. That's what we got earlier. Let's read that real quick. I know this is part of the story. So... My ambitions have caught this Minuteman's eye. And his... He knows my road trip didn't go very well. My <laughs> road trip, my escape attempt. And he he says I should go big and don't stick to a land route. Okay, so he's the one that gave me the inspiration. So, this Minuteman wants me to build a fucking rocket. But, it might be a new trade source. So, cool. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and call it here. I've got that one seed that I'm going to go ahead and plant down there. But uh, we've got a little storage built. We've got our, our little crafting area built. We've got some farm built. I, I really don't want to play through too much of the game until it comes out fully because I think I'll probably pick it up. It seems like a fun game to play in between, you know, some of the seven days and arc and all the other stuff that we play on the channel. So I I'll wrap here. Hope everyone enjoyed my first look at the game, Mr. Prepper, and I'll, I'll definitely be posting at least a couple more videos of this, so make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more great content. Beast mode or bust.